Welcome to FedScoop TV. I'm Whitney Wyckoff. Uh, here with me now at the Security Through Innovation Summit is Paul Christman. He's the Vice President of Federal Dell Software. Welcome. Thank you, Whitney. What is the number one disruptor, in your opinion, in terms of security challenges for your organization? Well, I, I think the number one disruptor right now is actually the rate of change that's happening in the infrastructure. Uh, I, I see software-defined infrastructure, that software-defined networking, software-defined data center. And it's not just because I'm in the software business, but I think that the software capabilities and the speed at which infrastructure can change is really stressing the security side of things. At this point, um, cloud and software-defined data center infrastructure is really probably the biggest disruptor that people are seeing um, as it relates to security. Oh, great. And uh, speaking of, uh, many organizations want to move to the cloud, but adoption rates are slow in, in many areas, um, predict particularly because of uh, security concerns. Uh, any advice for organizations that uh, want to ensure security mm -hmm. is built right into the cloud there? Yeah, a cloud mm -hmm. is, uh, again, is another disruptor. The idea of uh, designing identity as a service that could be delivered through the cloud, either in the cloud or to the cloud. All of these things are probably new in terms of the way things are designed, in terms of uh, how applications are designed. So first of all, looking at identity as a service as opposed to identity that's built into an application, for instance. The idea of identity as a service, and then secondly, um, we always say clean house before you move. So put your house in order before you migrate to the cloud. That's a big, big push right now because people are looking at how to develop clean, new, modern identity services. And that's really a, a prerequisite before you move to the cloud rather than after you move to the cloud. Great. Um, one of the biggest challenges for security officers today, given the explosion of mobile and the cloud and Internet of Things, is reducing complexity. Mm -hmm. Uh, how can we reduce complexity in IT infrastructure as well, remaining innovative and also secure? Sure. Um, complexity is an inherent problem with open systems. Uh, it's some of the values and benefits and the challenges that we have because we're able to connect so many things into uh, a public uh, internet. The first is complexity is usually solved through automation and process. We look at automation as a way of overcoming the sheer volume of data that's collected from the Internet of Things and also from mobile devices. The explosion of mobile devices, whether they're government owned or they're personal owned and connecting into uh, networks, the idea of automation and process really solves the complexity. Um, on another front, we'd always say um, go back to the basics. When you're faced with a challenge, a new challenge like the Internet of Things or mobility as a security challenge, go back to the basics and that's good IT hygiene, that's change management databases, documenting what you have, hardware and software asset inventory. You can't manage what you don't know about, and so the idea of going back to what you already have done and what you've per perfected uh, prior to the explosion of all these little tiny devices connected to the network, I mean, it's really going to come back and, and feed the benefit uh, to the organization through uh, automating uh, the, the business process for security. Now, there's no shortage of news about cyber attacks, and attackers are becoming increasingly sophisticated, and the lines between organized crime and nation-state-sponsored cyber espionage is really blurring. You know, with that in mind, what cybersecurity issues are keeping you up at night, and are there technological or policy answers? To yeah, the, the, the biggest concern is, mm -hmm. is honestly social engineering. The idea of, of gathering data through unsuspecting end users, um, the sharing of passwords, the inadvertent um, uh, sharing of information that compromises security. The social engineering is probably the most challenging because it leads to compromised credentials that are then used to perform uh, unauthorized acts. Um, Aside from the external advanced persistent threats, it's really the trusted insider threat that keeps me up. The idea of social engineering and then compromised credentials, that leads to an insider that you believe to be a trusted individual who is, is legitimately granted access, but the, the credentials are compromised. That's probably one of the most difficult things to identify, and that leads us to solutions like CDM or continuous diagnostics and monitoring, looking at user behavior rather than just simply allowing people to log in and assuming they are who they are. 
uh, throughout the life cycle of their use of the IT. I think CDM is probably the next uh, advancement in what I call uh, an active defense rather than a passive defense. Mm -hmm. So we can move forward to look at users, especially users um, who are behaving in unusual ways and then investigate those as potentially compromised insiders. Interesting. Now, in terms of cybersecurity leadership, what trends are you seeing uh, in the cybersecurity workforce, both positive and negative, and what do you think uh, needs to be done from a human capital perspective to ensure America's cyber infrastructure remains protected? That's a really good question. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we at Dell Software always talk about is training, end user training. Mm -hmm. Most of the uh, IT uh, breaches and compromises are the direct result of end users, well-meaning end users who have other jobs besides IT management. Mm -hmm. So first thing is train, train, train. You must train end users. It has to be consistent. It has to be repetitive. It has to be something that everybody participates in. So that's the first thing we have to do is to get that uh, end user to understand it's their part in the security equation. The second thing we really have seen and it's, it's very encouraging is the shifting of authority and also responsibility of security outside of IT to the mission. Mm -hmm. So when we look at security in the past it was an IT function. It was the person who reset my password. It was the person who provided me my credentials and granted me access. Mm -hmm. Lately, we're seeing a very healthy, productive shift away from IT authority mm -hmm. into the mission, the line of business, so that the business owner, the person who's the steward of the data, is actually responsible for granting, approving, and in many cases, um, the idea of attesting to the, uh, the, the privilege uh, user coming into that data set. That's a really, really good shift, and it's a partnership between IT and the mission. Great. Well, uh, those are all my questions. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks very much. And thank you for turning, tuning in to FedScoop TV.